Hello guys, welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are doing something a little bit new to the channel. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, if you have checked out my uh, Twitch, you probably know that I have been playing this again, um, and it's incredibly fun. Uh, but I, myself, am a free-to-play player. So I figured I would kind of do a little bit of like a how to be a free-to-play player, uh, kind of like a, a little bit of a guide as to how to do it and, and what you should be looking to do and where to get gems and stuff like that. So we're, we're over here as Yami Yugi in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. However, as you can see right here, there are two other options. We can go to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, um, which we have Jaden Yuki here, uh, and y there's a bunch of other characters that you can play as as well. Oh, looks like we got some missions that we have completed here. Um, anyway, or you could go to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds, which is my personal favorite. But and we have Yusei Fudo. Uh, anyway, so. There are a lot of things to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, but um, as a free-to-play player, that means when you go to the shop, which you can still do, there's still stuff in the shop you can get, uh, and l let's say you wanted to get the newest deck, you could only purchase stuff with gems, right? So I've only got 1,600 gems, okay? So that's not going to get me much, right? I might get an ultra rare that's up here, uh, but I probably won't get a whole lot, right? Um, uh, so, you know, you have to grind a lot of gems to get a lot, right? Um, so, what's the best way to get gems? What's the best way to get items and stuff like that? Well, first and foremost, gems, the best way to get that, uh, you can do these loner deck duels, which basically means that you go through all of these duels, you can go through all of these duels, and you can win, if you win a duel using a different person's deck, um, you get a certain amount of gems, and there is a daily challenge, win a duel using a loner deck daily challenge, right? So if you do that daily, you're going to get about 30 to 50 gems, right? And then as you can see, if we scroll down, you get about 30 gems for each one, right? And I think um, it does increase. No, it doesn't. But it goes all the way through basically every box that there has been, which I believe if we head back to the shop, there has been a, about 22, 22, right? So, there you go. Um, and uh, another thing I want to bring up is if you are looking to make um, competitive decks, check out Dual Links Meta and check out the free to play stuff. Honestly, most of the stuff you can find on Dual Links Meta how to farm up characters, how to uh, get specific people, and, and stuff like that, right? Um, now, let's check out the missions real quick, because these are pretty important. Right now, you can see that I have a character unlock mission for Officer Tetsu Trudge in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5, 5Ds, and I have these stage missions. Now, the stage missions are really important, because they, when you complete a stage, it will reset these duelists, the regular plain duelists, these people, right? Every time you duel them, you will get rewards. Things like gate keys, things like cards, right? Things um, that just help you get more stuff in the game. Uh, and gate keys are incredibly important because if we go over here to the gate, uh, as you can see, we require gate keys, colored and uncolored, in order to duel specific people, right? So this, so Officer Trudge, who I'm trying to get right now, requires yellow. Yusei Fudo requires blue. 
etc 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 right so getting gate keys is very important if you want to unlock these characters because as you can see each mission has a specific requirement um, to meet uh, and most of the time they're pretty difficult so you'll have to try it again and again in order to do it right so this one inflict 4,000 or more points of more points of battle damage with a single attack in a duel against officer Tetsu Trudge at level 30 using Yusei Fudo so um, it's pretty simple just you know clear an attack to do 4,000 damage right it makes sense um, but it's a little bit more difficult. So whenever you can get more um, more keys and stuff like that, it's very important. So whenever this these guys spawn, you want to be battling them. And you can either duel them as uh, like regular duels, which can help you complete some of the missions, um, or you can just auto duel, right? Uh, and then you can also, there is a reward multiplier here, and it goes all the way up to three. So if you wanted to instead only fight one person, but get three times the rewards, um, then, then you could do that. You could click uh, the rewards, and then there will be a rewards multiplier times three. But be aware that that takes up three people. So there's only ever six duelists. Uh, at a time and they respawn about one every 30 minutes right and so a full respawn takes two and a half hours wait uh no no, no. sorry three hours i can't math sorry <laughs> takes about three hours for a full for a full reset um so i'm going to duel this guy real quick i'm just going to auto duel i'll show you what that kind of looks like um and, th and this guide is for people who want to either return to the game who, who've played it before and want to return to it uh, because now it's a lot easier to get gems and it's uh, it's just a lot more fun in general um, oh look at that uh, and it's for people who are new to Yu-Gi-Oh and want to kind of get into it because I believe that this is probably the best way to get into Yu-Gi-Oh and there we go we won so now we can check out the rewards that we get. So we get a little bit of experience for our character, which is good. Um, and each time you level up, you can get new things. Like I get a new deck slot if I level him up to level 27. Uh, you can get cards, right? Like the last card I got was Sonic Warrior, which is pretty cool. And then you can also get gems. 200, 250 gems for leveling him up uh, to level 29, right? So 450 gems, that's almost 10 packs worth of gems, which isn't a lot but it's doable um, and, and it's nice right and you can get all these other uh, amazing level up rewards right so level 35 is when the rewards stop for you say uh, and then we do this uh, dual assessment so each time you win you get a certain amount of points or each each time you do a duel you get a certain score right um, and then, as you can see, these chests open up and they give us stuff. I'm really glad that I got a whole bunch of chest keys. You can also get cards. You can also get um, some orbs that allow you to trade with the trader, which I will get into in a second. But as you can see, doing different things gives you more points. And then there's this little note. One reward for every 1,000 points, eight maximum. So, if I had a multiplier of times three and I did this duel it would go to nine, right? So I'd actually be missing out on a possible chest. So if you're really trying to free play this, be aware of that. I would only ever do a double duel, double reward duel. Um, and then this event that's going on, the Dark Signer event, we get some, some vestiges, which is pretty useful. Then we also have the mission circuit, which is going on, which gives us uh, a bunch more points. And we go around the lap. As you can see, the next reward is in 400 laps. And I'm going to get 30 rare orbs, which I can use at the trader to give myself to get myself some rare cards, right? And then I also have this daily lap reward. So all these chests will pop up daily. Um, and then once, once you use all of these, or once you collect all of these, 
um, you're done. And if you want a free play, you got to do all the events, all of the missions, all that stuff. Uh, as consistently as you can. So now, as you can see, we ran out of duelists to face. So we could you go to, uh, we could use our dual orbs to replenish them, right? Use 10 dual orbs and the maximum possible number of standard duelists will appear, right? Or you could go to the shop and actually pay money, but we don't wanna do that. This is a free to play. Another thing you can do is you get five gems for watching a replay every day i don't know if i've already watched this one let's let's find out together right uh no i don't think i have uh this is also a good way to learn how to play the game and, and like what kind of you should be looking for in terms of uh deck building right what what things you can have and what i or cards are best with specific characters and stuff like that we're just gonna zoom through this so i'm gonna put it on fast forward and you can see Cosmic Cyclone is pretty good. Um, it banishes something, which is honestly really good. Uh, and then he's gonna draw cards and all that stuff. Pretty simple. What's going on? Easy, done. I don't think duels normally are that short. And eh, they can be. Anyway, there's that. Okay, I have already watched this one, so I didn't get the gems. Had I not watched that one, or had I not watched a replay that day... Oh, sorry. Let's talk about this real quick. These little gold icons that I just clicked, they give you special rewards. Uh, so whenever they come up, just click on them. This is just saying, hey, go play ranked. Um, and then you can use like some booster items to get more experience or better re better results or, or what have you, right? Um, that being said, if you win in ranked duels, up to 50 wins, you get specific rewards. And then it's every, like, 10 wins you get however many things. Uh, I think I can... I might be able to find it somewhere. No? Okay. Anyway. So, ranked duels also give you a lot of stuff. So, if you're looking to free play do the ranked duels they will give you better items and, and stuff like that also every day let's go to this no yes maybe hold on every day if you log in no this isn't what i wanted sorry uh you can see all of the events and stuff that's going on over here so okay uh, so as you can see, you get, right now, there's an experience uh, of 1.5 gain uh, campaign that's going on. You can train your Karibo, which is which is this little guy. Um, and, you know, the more you train him, the better items you can get, right? Uh, so that's all that. Um, you can get this, Road to World's Champion. Um, obtain special gifts by logging in, logging in during the WCS 2019 celebration campaign, right? You can get a thousand gems, you get all of these things for logging in every day, right? This, the ultra rare dream ticket is incredible. Uh, I got two of them for logging in one day and because of that, I was able to create a viable deck. I got two... Uh, it's not letting me click on it to show you. But I got two of... Let's see. I got these two. Galaxy Cyclone, which is one of the best cards in the meta right now. One of the best magic cards. So, log in. Get the, get the stuff. Log in every day just to get the stuff. You can battle these guys. And then, and then you can, like, leave. Right? So, we got this guy, the trader here. This is the trader EX. He, you know, trades for these EX jewels rather than, which is like the special event jewels that you can get from time to time. Um, but he gives you uh, specific items. You can get these, uh, these like jewels that give you an extra card, extra life, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, all of these things you can, you can purchase with this. 
uh, which makes a pretty good deck, right? So that's that's pretty nice. Then you can go over here to this trader, um, and his stock changes every eight hours, I believe. Um, you get a new stock, and you can trade in with these orbs here. So see, I've got 13 ultra rare orbs, and I've got a bunch of dark orbs, right? And then it, it costs some money. So that's what the gold is up there, right? And I could get this guy, or, or I could get this guy, right? Sadly, I'm not at stage 17, so I can't quite do that. But there you go. If you want more items or more uh, cards, that's how you, you do it, right? So if we go to the PvP area, uh, you can do ranked duels, which give you rewards. The duel rooms do not. I am not sure about casual duels. I'm pretty sure that they do. Um, but friend duels, duel rooms, they don't. Uh, but ranked duels do give you rewards, just like uh, if you were to face off against, you know, uh, standard duelists here. Um, so, if you want rewards, you can always just grind out uh, the ranked duels, uh, because you will always get... I'm pretty sure if you participate in one duel, you will always get a thousand points, which is one treasure chest or card. So you're guaranteed to at least get something. Even if you lose, you're guaranteed to get something. So keep that in mind. Just play. Plus, this game is really fun, just a duel and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, we're going to go to one of the best ways to get orbs and money. And we're going to go here to the card catalog. So, first of all, this is your dual studio, as it says right there. So here you can check deck lists, which is a bunch of decks uh, made by a bunch of different people with specific... They're specific decks, right? They're good decks, and, and, they, and they do... They've been submitted by someone who said that this has worked, right? So here we got a deck with the new character, Carly, Carmine, Dark Signer, and as you can see, it uses, you know, all of these monsters, right? It's got some blue eyes, it's got uh, Earthbound Immortal. This is the newest, I think, ultra rare card. Well, maybe not the newest, but it's it's for the new event. Um, and then you got the Sphere Karibo, all this other stuff, right? So you can check this deck, you can rate it, see how good it is. Um, but if you have like a deck that you want to build uh, with a specific character, you can kind of look it up here, right? So there's a bunch of bunch of stuff here. If you if you want to look for a deck to build, a free to play or not free to play deck. You can look there. Um, and oh, also one more thing. Uh, you can, so so let's go to this guy where I'm 88% complete with this, right? I'm missing two cards, right? So we can go here and we can click how to obtain. And then it shows you dual reward. You say Fudo dual reward. Caution, obtainable randomly by winning a duel. So that's the only way to get it. I have to duel you say Fudo a bunch. How do I duel him? I go to the gate, I use my gate keys. Simple, right? Anyway, let's go back. Card catalog. Best way to get orbs, best way to get money. You come over here, you go to owned, and then you kind of scroll through and say, okay, what cards do I have more than three of? Because the maximum amount of cards that you can have, or the maximum amount of the same card that you can have in your deck is three, right? So right here, um, I've got three of this person, right? I only need three Fortune Lady Lights, right? But here, I have five Fortune Lady Earths. So I can go like this. It's gonna say, oh, you're attempting to convert an SR card. Are you sure? Yeah, that's fine, it's whatever. So as you can see, these three are blocked off because they're already in a deck. So, don't need them. But these other two, I don't need. Because you only need a maximum of three cards. If you build a deck 
and there's overlapping cards, it doesn't matter. It just, you only need those three cards, right? So we click convert, we're gonna get some SR jewels, which is pretty good. We're gonna get some stones of earth, which is pretty good. And then we're gonna get some gold, right? So you just do that, right? And then every once in a while, just go through, like, look, I got seven of these, right? I don't need seven. In fact, I only need three. We're gonna get some some stones, perfect, right? I got seven of this person, I could do that, right? I'm not gonna do that this entire time, but there you go. Um, and then you've got customization, which is where you can get, uh, or where you get game mats and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you got these game map, or game mats and the card sleeves uh, that show up there. And then, oh, you could also look at the summoning animation. I didn't know that. But you can also check your skill lists um, and how many skills you have here. And as you can see, there's a lot, right? So I've got a few, but there's still a lot to do. Um, and, and most of those can be done by doing these lifetime missions. So, missions, there's normal missions and special missions. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> the special missions, uh, so you have these event missions, right? So play du ranked duels, and I get these, um, the visages for the event, which is really useful. So, of course, you want to play your ranked duels whenever you can. And normally there's like some event that says, hey, play some ranked duels, right? Ranked duels are pretty chill, so go for it. Then you have win 40 duels against Dark Signer Carly Carmine in Duel World. Play 60 duels against Dark Signer Carly Carmine in Duel World. And then you're going to get some of these EX cards, which you can use with the trader, uh, the special event cards. So if you want to do that, Make sure, or if you want some of those cards, make sure that you get uh, these events done. But then you have these lifetime missions. Log in a total of 30 days. I haven't, I'm still new to this, so I haven't quite done that. Right? Play a total of a thousand duels, all of this stuff. Have Taya Gardner reach level 10, trade with the trader 50 times, and reach stage 20, right? All these other stuff, all this other stuff. Win a duel against Yummy Yugi as Yummy Merrick, playing as Yummy Merrick. And then you can get the Winged Dragon of Raw, Prismarine, or Prismatic, I can't talk. But here you can also get these these skills by doing some of this other stuff as well. Reduce your opponent's life points by zero to zero by inflicting battle damage with the Winged Bat Dragon of Raw in a duel against my Valentine using Yummy Merrick. And then you get Power of Tribute, right? So there's a bunch of different different stuff that you can do to get those skills. This game is entirely free to play if you want it to be. The, the only problem is that it's extremely difficult. And if you want to get to the highest rank, if you want to get to Legends or King of Games, which is the highest the higher ranks of the latter in ranked you're going to have to spend money because look let's go to decks okay let's go to ancient gear awakening i have already okay let's go let's go do a different one sorry i've already used that one let's go to this one okay i have never purchased this deck but in this deck you get some pretty good stuff right you get some ultra this uh neos space uh elemental heroes right so you get a bunch of really cool stuff but you only get one of them. So that's not really enough to make a deck, right? But you can only purchase one deck using gems. The rest of the decks have to be purchased with actual money. You can purchase one for $4, right? So it's not terrible, but it's not great. Or you can purchase one for 7 right and then that has an unlimited you can get as many as you want 
Granted, you really only need three. So, just keep that in mind. But, there are... There are cards and decks that you can get that do not require money. These packs, you can reset the box whenever. You can purchase as many packs as you want with gems. Easy. Right? And if you go over here to the ultra rares, right? You can get things like Drowning Mirror Force and Galaxy Cyclone. Two really good, very viable cards in the competitive game, right? So, all in all, I hope that this was useful, but there's not much more to say. If you want to get to the highest ranks, you just gotta grind it out. Make sure that you do as many of these duels as you can, these loner deck duels, they give you so many... Yeah, look, I got a new one. So if I win, I'm going to get seven keys, right? So you don't get gems from that, but you do get keys. And then all of these... Look at all those gems I still have to collect, right? Do the missions. Uh, make sure that when you do the stage missions, or when you're about to finish the stage missions, that you've already emptied out your other duels, right? You're just standard duelists. But it's possible, guys. Free to play is possible. It's fun. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy, and I hope that you guys found this a little bit useful. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, just be sure to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more content like this, just be sure to subscribe and check out my Twitch, which is where I will be streaming this game. The This YouTube channel will still mostly be Minecraft, but this was just a, a, a video to kind of show you and help you get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.